first, we have the ranks table here. This shows the number of students for each condition, N, and the mean rank for each condition. In a Kruskal Wallace ANOVA, all cases in the data set are ranked and ordered, and then the average of these ranks in each group is calculated. Because the mean ranks appear to be relatively similar between conditions, this indicates that all groups had similar mixes of low, middle, and high ranking grades. In the table below, we have the information we need for the writer. More specifically, the test statistic, which we would denote with an italicized Greek letter chi, the degrees of freedom, which is the number of conditions minus one, and the significance level, or p-value, which is 0.877. You could write up the findings like this. A Kruskal-Wallis one-way ANOVA indicated that there were no statistically significant differences in the grades assigned to the control, poor, and bright students by the teachers. You would then report your chi-square value, degrees of freedom, and p-value. You should also report the mean rank for each condition from the ranks table above. Finally, you should report an effect size. Information about how to do this is provided in StatHand.